and I seen that you were on uh, Pix11. Pix11, yeah. Shout out to Greg Maka. <laughs> how did that come about? Tell me about well, that. Well, I actually met Greg Maka two years ago, and you know, we kept in contact via email, and then, you know, once, a, once he heard about the book, he hit me up and he said, you know, he thinks it's a great idea and he would like to do a piece on me. So he came in the next week and we chopped it up and then... And you said you met him where? In the airport, yeah. So how do you like that interview? Like, how, how was that? It was Jeez. good. It was good. I was like, whoa! <laughs> yeah. he, he's not going to come on Mezzanine Mental after that. I mean, <laughs> he's already big time and he's too big time for me. Nah. But that support, man. Was, was it like a humbling experience? Like, it was, was, it was, you know, it was, it was a humbling experience. It was a lifelong experience. Right, and how know, was it you know? seeing yourself on the television? Like, Man, what? that was crazy, you know. That, that, to be honest, it was actually like the first time I've ever been like proud of myself because I tend to beat myself up the most, you know. Of course, you have yeah, to Yeah, I tend to, to beat, beat myself yeah. up the most, you know. And it's crazy because the, the next day after the interview, like, people was literally coming up to me at work, like, passengers was like, hey, I saw you on the news interview last night. I want to buy your book. So, <laughs> and so were you selling it right then and there? Yeah, of course. And he's like, you know what? That's so funny. I actually have a whole oh, backpack yep, full of it. Uh, yep, just, yep. Uh, and just moving forward, like, where do you see yourself with this book? Like, uh, I know for a fact that this book has uh, potential, and it's going to go up. Uh, far away, and you know, I'm I'm just going with fit right now. Yeah. And I would stop promoting it because I know the message it, it has in it. So I'm just going with fit right now, and wherever it goes, that's got that, that would be God works, you know. Wow. And then so, and so, what does your mom feel about this book? She's my biggest supporter. I love my mom. Oh, shout out you, to mom. You saw in the beginning at the beginning of the book, mm -hmm. there's actually a quote from one of my favorite person, Abraham Lincoln. Can you can you read it out loud? Uh, so all that I am or hope to be, I owe it to my angel mother. Oh, yeah. she's oh, and she's, oh yeah. shout out to my, even though she probably can't be here right now, I shout know. out mom. <laughs> you made a very strong gentleman. I love yeah. it. All right, and when we get back, we're going to talk about your, we're going to talk about your book, yeah. get into all that juiciness, all yeah. right? So this is 23 featuring Miley Cyrus with Khalifa, because you know, I, I like to get my out of that though on. <laughs> all right, so, um, like, okay, so first of all, what does your title stand for? Cause, uh, and not only 100 for one, um, 100 for one, but also the shoe shining experience. Like, yeah, I need the, to know the, the whole the name, name of the book actually is 100 Answers for the One Question Will You Marry Me? But you know, this nobody, let's you know, nobody has the attention span to go online and type in 100 answers for the one question, will you marry me? So I figure why not just condense the name into a few letters whereby it would be easier to pick out and since hashtag is the new way to like find a product on yeah. the social website I just had the hashtag in front and call it 100 for one okay so the 100 question the 100 questions yeah. for one answer will you marry me for the one answer will you marry me wow so. all right this book is inspired by somebody <laughs> yes it is are you gonna go into detail is this something that we shouldn't be talking about we, like, should, what? we, we could talk about it you okay know. So it says that you were, it was almost inspired by your ex-girlfriend, right? It, it, it was, yeah, definitely it was. And, and was she, um, she was from America, she Guyana? Was from, she, was, she was, she was, she's from Guyana. Okay, yeah. why are you looking over your shoulder like she's about to pop up like a ninja or something? Yeah. I'm getting scared I'm getting now. Careful. What? Hold on now, wait a minute, hold on. Wait, before we start talking, let's just... She's actually a student of York. What? She might be listening to All right, you know yeah. what, Brian? You know what? We're out of here. I'm, okay. No, but um, so like, what what happened? Like, why? This this is what happened. We was uh, we was together for four years, and you know, this was the girl that I thought was gonna marry me. Uh, I thought I was gonna die loving and everything, but you know, I was in love with her. I was gonna, I, I still was gonna do everything that I had promised her, but you know, I was constantly cheating for the uh -oh. past. You know what's so bad? When I read it, I was like, oh my God, he's so sweet. Oh my God. He wrote it because his ex-girlfriend didn't want to marry him. You're evil, actually. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, I cheated on her, but I was unfaithful to what we had, you know? You said you were unfaithful or you I were faithful? wasn't, I wasn't. I wasn't unfaithful to what we had, but I did cheat on her. And uh, at the time of the breakup, you know, the, my, my state of mind was like detrimental. I was having all these suicidal thoughts. And wow. I was even thinking of going and like hurt her, but you know, instead of doing that, what I did was I, I went into work and I began telling the customers my story, what had happened, and they began like giving me their own experience when it comes to relationships and their own stories and what to do to try to move forward. But here's my thing though, you didn't think that there would be any repercussions to you cheating? I'm young, I never had nobody to teach me on how to 
treat a woman or, or, or how to date a woman actually because my mom brought me up so mm -hmm. I know how to treat a woman but I didn't I thought being in a relationship was just going to the movies on a Tuesday having sex going to dinner you know but there's more to it you know yeah there's when you have to tolerate this compromise there's things you have to accept this constant work it's crazy you know it's crazy and a lot of people is in relationship but we don't understand that, you know, we just think oh we're in this lovey dovey relationship, but there's a lot more than just lovey dovey, lovey dovey and chilling and hanging out and stuff like that, you know. Right. I mean looking back, are you happy that that happened or are you kinda of still sad? Does it still kinda of, is it one of those things that every, still hurts a little every bit? Every day it hurts me, you know, I think oh. about it every day, but uh you know, I may have lost the best thing that's hap that's ever happened to me, but I'm grateful because in the process of losing our game myself, you know, I'm much more wow. mature, I'm more aware of my own problems, you know, my own issues. So I know my next relationship will be a good relationship, you know. Yeah. I have all the antidote. What do you think you've learned, like, in this process? Like, what is it that, you know, you're taking away from everything that happened, like? I've learned to be more aware of my own stuff, you know, because looking back on our relationship, a lot of the arguments and stuff was because of me and the, the things that I wasn't happy with of myself, you know. Mm -hmm. So at times, you know, I would be verbally abusive to her and stuff, so oh, okay. I've learned a lot about myself. Right, and you know what? It takes a real man to realize that, you know, they were, you know, that you needed to grow up. Yeah, and and that's know. another thing, like, if you're not, if you're not stable in where you are, it's probably not even best for you to even have something. And one of the questions that I do have, though, is because when we're talking about the book, you just talk about a lot of love and, like, you know, love lost and mm -hmm. love, you know, that, you know, what you want to find. So how does a shoe shining experience tie into that? Like, because, I, I mean, I read it, I'm like, a shoe shining experience? Where's the shoes at? Basically, <laughs> it's not just the shoes, it's the customers, you know, behind the shoes, because it's customer stories. You know, while I'm shining the shoes, they're actually telling me these stories, so... It's basically me shining shoes and getting knowledge at the same time. So that's why I says the shoe shining experience. I've never been married before, yeah. so I don't have no kind of knowledge, no kind of experience when it comes to being married. So it's basically their stories. And since I'm a shoe shiner and I'm getting this information while shining shoes, that's why the subtitle for it is the shoe shining experience. So this book has features different stories. Different. It's a hundred different stories. A hundred different stories. Different stories from over five hundred different customers. Because what I did was, uh, after I got all the information, I compressed them into one hundred stories. So it's a bunch of crazy. And how did you stories. how did you do the like the whole writing process? Because you said you wasn't really a writer. No, I was. That's a that's. A, I'm looking at this book, and and, and, and this is pretty heavy. It is heavy. It doesn't look like something you just pages. made made, nah, made it overnight. I had a lot of sleepless nights, man. You know. Like you woke up and you was like, I gotta put that in the book. Yeah, I gotta put that in the book. You know, went home from work. You know, thank God for amps, thank God for Red Bull, you know, I was up <laughs> all night. Thank God Coffee. for my friends, Yon, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. those guys, you know, comforting me. Yeah. Because, you know, I was frustrated while writing the book, too, because we, we had just broke up. Yeah. So, it was a lot of stuff that was going through my mind, you know, so. And, and that book just kept you going, It though. kept me going, you know. That's the good. stories helped me to move forward. I want you to know that, you know, your message is going notice because I was even, I'm like, this guy, because you know what, it's like you're so used to just seeing people on Instagram, you know, putting pictures of themselves, yeah. but it's like when you're putting pictures of like inspirational quotes under yeah. it, things like that, it's like, it's deeper than that. And the crazy thing about those quotes, uh, they're all quotes from the book. Well, I figured yeah, that, yeah, the excerpts, that's why I was yeah. like, you know, I need to, you see, the thing is my tablet's broken, I don't like to read physical oh. books because I break them, like, they rip, I'm, I'm a savage, I rip books, so I usually have it on my ebooks. Okay. I could, we can get that on ebooks, right? Yeah, yeah. Super what can we expect for you in the future? Let us know. For the future, as I said earlier, you know, I'm planning, I'm planning on releasing three books, uh, summer 2014, the trilogy package, and just constant work, you know. I'm actually going to a meeting this afternoon to become a big brother. Wow, yeah, so that's awesome. I'm going to do some volunteering work too, so it's constant work, you know. All right, give back yeah. to the community. Yeah, of course, you know. That's awesome. Yeah. And um, what was I going to say? Also, I mean, you know, what's that trilogy? Do you know the titles yet? Do we, do we know anything? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to share it right now. All right, all right. Well, you're ready to share. One of them will be the the, 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 the first project that actually started Why I Killed Myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that will be one of the... the, the it's going to be called Why I Killed Myself? Yeah. Wow. Oh, this is Mezzi and Mental. Yeah. I like to end with something motivational. If you're going through hell, keep going. Yeah. Very short and simple. Think about it. All right, and this is Mezzi and Mental on YC Radio. Have a good night. <laughs>